Hi everybody. This is Pearl Means, Russell Means' wife. Russell Means, if you didn't know, died of cancer in 2012. I will link below to this video, but I just want to play a few minutes of it. I think it's important what she has to say. Because the patriarch you look at his governmental structures, you look at his educational institutions, you look at his organized religions, you look at all of his structures, and they're top down. We have no balance with those systems. So they eventually implode from within. And this was Russell's, one of Russell's messages that he took to the world. In fact, he said, if you want to know what the United States of America, the belly of the beast, what their tactics are, take a look at the page of our history. These policies were first bred and born in Indian country. They were exported to the world, and now they're on the backs of the American people. They didn't live up to Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution that validates our treaties as international documents. What makes you think they're going to honor the U.S. Constitution that is actually designed to keep the U.S. government in check? Because we are sovereigns. We have those rights. They're inherent rights. And look what you've done. You've allowed your rogue government to usurp your rights one after another, year after year. We come from a people with a beautiful worldview because it doesn't begin with us and it doesn't end with us. Everything in the universe is holy sacred and round. The planets, the stars, the moon, the sun, the raindrops, the human form. We've got to grab a hold of these truths. We've got to grab a hold of our children. That's our greatest responsibility as women. Why have we thrown them away? Why are we allowing the system to put our future leaders on Retlin? Why are we lining up in those clinics for antidepressants? Why are we allowing our agriculture to be destroyed with genetically modified organisms? Why are we allowing this? Water is sacred. It's our lifeblood. Look what they've done to it. Well, um, yeah. Why are we allowing this? We're allowing this because we truly are a lost people. I listened to her talk about the children, what we are doing to the children.
I don't have children, but I have as deep feeling about the destruction of children as Pearl Means does. Why? Why are we allowing this? How did we get here to be so to be so lost, to be so uncaring about everything. I am talking about the majority. I'm not talking about everybody. But as a people, what do we hold sacred? What do you hold sacred? I have had conversations with friends throughout my adult life periodically and have asked, what do you hold sacred? And many would laugh at me, roll their eyes. Oh, there goes Carol again, Miss Dramatic, Miss Oh, Miss This. I can't believe how many times I was laughed at, ridiculed for simply trying to have what people would call those uh, conversations, they would call them deep or too serious. Gossip was generally accepted and, and it was the mode of discourse. I hold sacred truth. It's not selective. My own truth. I hold sacred friendship. <laughs> and want my friends to respect me. I give respect, but I can't when people end up gossiping and then turn around and make fun of me for not wanting to gossip. I can't when I have friends who refuse to do anything to resolve resolve their ways I guess I hold sacred growth and I do hold sacred honesty and when lied to, I see that I'm not respected. I'm not cared for in that relationship. It is our way. Lying. And I would say that Americans collectively speaking, hold sacred their paychecks, money, and their ego, their external package of success. Outside of that, I can't think of anything that we as a people hold sacred. It's really important to ask yourself what you hold sacred. Indigenous people, very often you will hear they hold Mother Nature, 
Grandmother Earth, all beings, all life sacred. We can't say that as a people. We can't say that we hold each other sacred. We can't claim that we hold sacred children, the environment, water, earth, agriculture, even decency. Not anymore. That's why we are going down. Because we're a people without principle. We're a people who hold nothing sacred but our own little lives. So only destruction can follow. If you don't have principles and live them, only destruction. You know, someone left a comment below a video that I posted. An unexamined life is not worth living. And she wasn't sure, and neither am I. I believe Socrates said that. An unexamined life is not worth living. An unexamined life just becomes a robotic life, kind of wasting time until you die. And if you don't hold sacred truth, all truth, not just the truth that we research on a daily basis and post videos about, but our own truth that is the most important truth, our own truth, getting to our own truth. If you split the truths apart, parcel out what you can face and what you can't, you're not on board yet and you're living a life unexamined. It's, it's that life that renders life itself meaningless. When, when you're a lying people, everything is meaningless. Nothing is sacred. And it's hard. It's very hard. It's very painful to witness on a daily basis your fellow Americans so lost. They not knowing who they are. When you don't know who you are, then you flounder about you end up causing more harm, more destruction, more hurt. Because if you don't know who you are, you can't know what you speak. And if you can't know what you speak, you're just simply speaking words. And those words will not be honored. So, I'd love to hear what you consider sacred. And what you consider sacred the true meaning of the word. 
then you have to live it. You can't not live it. So with what you consider sacred, do you live it? Until we can start getting more and more Americans to live what they speak, We can only manifest more and more darkness. The link to Pearl Means' talk is right below in the description box.